time for Corner Table. It's our exclusive theater review segment. It features legendary critic John Simon and relative newcomer Justin Brown. Simon, he's written on theater for several decades now, including 35 years at New York Magazine. He's also been published in the New York Times, Washington Post, and many, many more. Brown, he reviews shows, and he's also an actor as well as director. Well, today, they're looking at both parts of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Hello, Corner Table friends. Hello, John. Hi. How are you? Pretty good. Great. So today, we're talking about Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I'm going to hold this beautiful playbill open because there are so many names attached to this show, it's not even funny. Um, but it is directed by John Tiffany. It was written by Jack Thorne, and it's based on all of the work that J.K. Rowling has put into the seven books that exist seven of Harry books. Potter. Um, so John is not a Harry Potter generation child. I was not necessarily a big Harry Potter fan growing up. John, what was your initial impression? Of what, of the show? Of the show. Well, it was um, the same as it was about, about the books. Too much of a good thing. Mm. And one could have done with less. You think so? Well, I think so. Mm. Um, I think what I found really incredible was um, the movement work and the, the, the direction that Tiffany does with this is really fascinating stuff because the way that they move objects through space yeah. was really impressive. The transitions, I always say you can tell a good director on transitions. And the transition work that John Tiffany and Stephen Hoggett, I hope I'm saying his name right, yeah. um, worked on was really impressive stuff. And the magical elements yeah. that were in it, how did you feel about that? Oh, I feel fine, but I think all fantasies should be limited to fewer than seven volumes and a <laughs> whole big long play afterwards and all the movies in between. Mm -hmm. It's too much of a good thing. Too much of a good thing. Did you, how would you kind of pull it apart? It w it's a long, long show to sit through. Um, you saw it in one sitting, yeah? No, I saw it in two sittings, oh. like everybody. He's so well, shady. like most people. I think. <laughs> um, so it is in two parts. Yeah. You go in. You can do them in two separate days if you like. I did it in one day, and it was about six or seven hours worth of theater. Seven, I would think. Seven hours of theater. Um, I found it to be a very impressive piece as well, uh, kind of across the board. The writing is okay. The acting is very earnest, and I find that. The highlights of performance come from the person playing Hermione, and I'm going to butcher her name, but I'm just going to say her first name, Noma. Noma Dumezwini. She was absolutely fabulous. And then the other actors across the board, was, it was fine. I found it fine. But if you're going to go see the show, it's more about being impressed by the illusions that are happening on stage and the light and the transitions. It was really great show to see. But in terms of artistic feats, I wouldn't necessarily classify this as one of those. So what you're saying is that we're getting a lot of technique, but nothing to be technical about. Exactly. And I don't like her, by the way. I found her obnoxious. Really? Yeah, I found her really obnoxious. Unpack that for me. How so? Well, I mean, she was sort of tall and self-important and carrying on as if she were God's gift to mankind. While I felt that she was sort of an indifferent, over tall, not quite inspired, average kind of actress carrying on as if she were the greatest thing that ever hit the stage, uh, which I don't think she was. Interesting. Uh, yeah. I felt like she was one of the few people on the stage offering a more dynamic and layered experience out of everybody else. Well, I don't know what a dynamic and layered experience is. I know what good acting is and what boring acting is. And that's the two categories that I chiefly deal with. And she fell into the undesirable category. Hmm, interesting. So, everyone, I think it's worth taking a look at. It's a very impressive piece of theater um, in a very technical way. So if you are really interested in that kind of experience, I would absolutely check it out. Um, but for the most part, I think John and I are agreeable that it, it's a fine show <laughs> and it was entertaining. Thank you.
Man, is Simon tough. All right, coming up next, reunited, and it feels so good.